everybody, Mike O'Connor here, local real estate agent with Compass in Massachusetts. Today's topic is how to pick a realtor, right? Everybody knows a realtor, everybody has a family member or a friend that is a realtor, and the truth of it is not all realtors are equal, right? We all have our different skills, we all have our different specialties, our different areas that we work, our different styles that we do business with, the way we market property, the way we network, the way we talk to other agents. We all have our own skills, we all have our own unique traits that we use to sell property and make us unique, right? So when working with a realtor, focus on these three things, right? When you're interviewing with a realtor, you wanna understand what does their marketing look like? How do their photos look like? How does their social media presence portray your property Again, across all of the platforms? This talking Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, on the MLS, on the different platforms like Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, where everybody's looking at property these days. You wanna make sure you have somebody that can put your property on all of these platforms and make it look as beautiful as possible so that your property Property gets the most views, which is so important, than the most people through the open house and the most offers, right? That's the goal, that's what we're looking to do. The second one is the market, right? Where do they live? Where do they spend most of their time? Where do they know most of their people? If you're going to find an agent that lives in, I live in Bridgewater, right? I can't list something in Worcester. I've never been there. I don't go out there. I don't spend time out there. I'm not gonna waste your time. And it'd be a waste of my time because I just don't have the energy and the resources out there to make a successful sale, right? The last thing, right, is time and energy. What does their time look like? Do they have 20 listings where they can't even come to an open house to show your property? Do they have zero listings? So that's gonna be the only property that they have on the market at the time, right? They're gonna be at the open house all the time, but at the same time, they may not have the experience as somebody with 20 listings that's going on all at once, right? So you've gotta figure out what you want, what works best for you, uh, what's gonna be the best opportunity to sell your property as quickly as possible for maximum value, right? So the three things, is marketing, what does their marketing look like? Two, where do they live? Where do they do most of their business? And then three is how much time and energy are they gonna put into your property? Those are the three things you wanna consider when picking a real estate agent, uh, probably the three most important that I see on a day-to-day -day basis. So make sure you pick the right one so that you can get max value for your property and capitalize on this market.